Hi guys, I received a message from Phaser. It says, do you know of any programs to host a music server so you can listen to your own music f- files in real time with friends? Just thought I would ask, thanks, Phaser. Okay, now Winamp has actually got a new feature on it called Winamp Remote, and it will allow you to play your music um, that you own or to other people. Uh, over the web and things like that. I'm just going to be showing you how it works. I'm just going to install Winamp. This is the I've just got the full version of Winamp. I'll provide the link in the description. It says uh, install the language English. Next, agree. Destination folder. That's fine. I'm just going to have the standard. Next, because I'm not using this as my main player, so I'm just going to make a desktop icon. And Winamp Remote. This is the one we want. I'm going to untick both of these. It says enjoy your music and videos. So you can do videos as well. On the go, stream your home music from Winamp.com, compatible mobile devices, Nintendo Wii, Sony PlayStation 3, and Microsoft Xbox 360. So you can basically just share your music anywhere. That's a great feature to have, and I've just been testing it out, and it works really, really well. So, I'm just going to install. So this is now going to probably download the uh, Winamp remote software. And here we go, download Winamp remote. And I'm getting quite a good speed on it as well. There we go, about 600. So um, this Winamp remote seems to be pretty good. It's, I sit, as it's their 10th anniversary, they brought out like a new, um, well, if you haven't checked it out, it's, I thought it's been out for a couple of months, but it's like a new, they've got a new interface to their Winamp player. And um, they have pretty much <laughs> they've added some new features as well, because obviously they're 10 years old now. Quirky. <laughs> I've been using them since like Windows 95. But anyway, um, Launch Winamp, no, we don't want to launch Winamp, we just want to launch Winamp Remote. Now this runs in your uh, taskbar, and um, it says now you can Winamp in any in any web browser. Play and share this PC's music and videos on any PC, any browser, any PC, Winamp.com. Create an account, so I'm just going to create an account, I'm going to say mobile phone, I'm going to say 2004, because 2003 I've already made, so I'm going to make my own password. It says on mobile, so um, now you can went out on your mobile browser. They've got an iPhone there. See it in action on the iPhone if you want to check it out. Wii and PS3 also works on the Xbox 360, so it works on all the consoles. Uh, play this music and, and any Winamp on any PC, so I suppose you can stream it from your own Winamp on another PC. And stream your music and videos to your friends. So you can actually uh, share accounts as well, it looks like. So you can just... Cool, that looks pretty cool. So anyway... Um, I'm not going to put my email in because it's optional. So we're going to say next. And Winamp Remote is completing setup. Now I've noticed this, it's got a new thing here Winamp Remote, play your music and videos on the go. Setup is complete. Uh, See it now? No, we won't see it now because I'm actually going to see it in action in my virtual machine. Now you know what my virtual machine is if you've been watching my videos. I've just got Windows XP inside a virtual machine. It shouldn't matter about the operating system. It's going to go to start internet and in the website I'm just going to type in www.winamp.com forward slash remote I'm then going to log in with the details that I have provided in this Winamp remote player now there is some configuring to do if you really want to do it but um, it, it just tells you where your video folders are and your music folders are and you can add special ones if you want to do that and um, it says my mobile phone 2004 is my account registered and uh, all this stuff that you can do where well, you can do direct streaming so anyway uh, it says when out remote beta um, blah 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 let's log in so mobile phone 2004 it's got mobile phone 2003 because that's what I logged in previously and password and I'm going to sign in not now so uh, it looks like you can do it on, um, on loads of stuff because I mean at the end of the day it is your own music so you should be able to do what you like with it and I know you can put it on mp3 players and take it places but what if you just want to stream it over the internet it just seems a lot easier to do I mean if you want to go to college and uh, hopefully this went up so it shouldn't be blocked so you could just listen to your own music at home obviously you've got to leave your computer on for it to stream it to people and keep this running in the taskbar but it's pretty much the same with this uh, log me in that I use so I can actually um, dial into this PC and control the mouse but anyway, um, where can I use Winamp Remote? Again, it's going to tell you a load of stuff. Send yourself a text message, apparently, and it tells you with a link. Cool. And um, as you can see, it says audio, Winamp Remote, blah, blah, blah. Audio, 
Uh, if you have Winamp on your PC, uh, settings general from here, I'm not going to bother with that. And it says library, and it's now got all my music that's on here. Uh, obviously, it's just got a couple. Now, it sh uh, it, this um, hasn't got all my music, it looks like, because I've got a lot more music than this. Um, but uh, it must be populating it. Um, oh, there we go, 1845. Oh, I see, it, it just uh, shows 20. And then you can go on to next, and then next, 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 or oh, more than 20, I'm not sure. But hey, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, so all I'm going to do is, um, in this virtual machine, because as this virtual machine is totally different from my machine, it's a new PC that's inside my machine, um, it's connecting to the internet, and I'm just going to play it off my own machine. So it's actually going through the internet. So it's not going through a network or anything, it's actually going through the internet. So I'm going to play um, something that you've probably heard of. Uh, let me love you. So I'm just going to double click this. It tells me information on it, tells me the track, the dates. It's now coming up with opening stream. So you've chosen to open stream.asx, which is a Windows Media Audio playlist. Open with Windows Media Player. Obviously, you can open this with Winamp if you have it and anything else. Um, but at the moment, we're just going to open it with Win Windows Media Player. So I'm going to click OK. It's connected to my media. Buffering. It's already said, let me love you. And hopefully, once it's buffered, we should be able to hear my song of mine. My main computer. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. This is streaming my own music off my own computer. So if you want to stream your home music if you're at work, if you want to stream your home music if you're at college, then um, that's pretty much how to do it and uh, it saves putting it on mp3 players and things like that if you don't own one if you don't own an iPod or anything then you can do it through this it just seems um, an easy way to do it you can just log into their website and you can look at your own library and then you can try you can choose your own songs so that's pretty much it I hope this answers your question phaser because that's uh, pretty much what you want to do isn't it you want to share your own music files over the internet so Thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.